Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use file aliases with Vite in a TypeScript project. And before I continue, I want to apologize for the bad audio. I'm currently moving house and I don't have my microphone with me. So I'm using the microphone that comes with my headphones. Now, as you can see in this file, there are some directories that have an at symbol in front of them. And I added them on purpose purely because of the fact that I don't want to use this dot or dot dot slash relative path to find files. It's a lot easier to put an at symbol for the assets or the services I want, whatever directory I'm in, and then the project will find it. And I've done that in this project using Vite. Now this of course will work with whatever bundler you're using. So if you're using Webpack or Parcel, they should support this feature as well. But in this video, I'm going to only focus on Vite. So let me do that now for this templates directory. I want this to be at templates and not just templates. So it's easier for me to locate all of my templates. So first off, I'm going to go into my Vite directory and add that. So I'm going to add templates and let's check where that is. I believe that's in the root. So it's in root source templates. And then this also needs to be added to my TypeScript config. If you are not using TypeScript, you'd have to create a jsconfig.json file to do the same. So you can see here, this is the place that I've put the others. Ignore all these comments. This is because I generated my tsconfig file using the CLI. I didn't write this manually. So I'm going to create a new line here. And we'll change that here as well. Notice I've got the slash star to say everything in the templates folder, which is applied here, here, and here as well. So once that's done, this won't immediately update. You have to reload all of VS Code. Okay, and with that change made, you'll notice VS Code is now recognizing my templates alias, and I can option click on this path, and it will take me to the right folder. And it's as simple as that.